Welcome back everybody and today is Watercolor Tuesday and it's the last watercolor of this year. I can't believe we're almost done 2021. <laughs> Hopefully 22 is going to be an awesome year. I've got good vibes about it. I think it's going to be a good year and I think we're all going to get back to normal. Hey Lena! Just got home half to, uh, to quit my internet. Oh, they wish I could just open up a cute <laughs> No problem, Lena. Hopefully, you're feeling awesome today. Can't believe we're almost finished. Yeah, wasn't that cute? It was a cute. I, I really enjoyed that. That was a simple one, too. But it was cute. Uh, we're doing this one here. And <laughs> three mice caroling for cheese. <laughs> Thought it would just be cute. So um, they, he's holding a sign saying, we'll sing for cheese. <laughs> um, so we're just going to do, this won't be too um, intricate or anything. It's, it's just something cute that we can do. I'll go and make dinner and come back. Hello, oh, cheese singing mice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, cheese, Janet. <laughs> yep. They'll sing for cheese. <laughs> so if you want to uh, take a screenshot, you're welcome to do that. And then you can draw them up and paint along. Um, if you're a member on Patreon or on YouTube, there is a printable for this one. So you just have to uh, go there, or if you're interested in it, there's links down below in the um, comments, in the description. And you can just click on those and it'll take you to the links. <laughs> Yep, Janet. Janet's here. So I, th I just thought it would be cute to do that. And I did, actually, when I, um, I was seeing some caroler, uh, carolers, and I thought, I don't know why, but We'll Sing for Cheese came to mind. <laughs> and then I did the uh, funny little mice. And they're all wearing little scarves. You're practicing. So um, that's what we're going to do today. And uh, for members, your videos are up already. And you can find those in the community members uh, page on YouTube and on Patreon. They're ready for you. And the budding artist, this is what we did. And it's uh, black and white. Maybe just a tad of uh, sienna in there, but it's um, a nighttime, frosty, winter wonderland. And this is a fairly easy one, so uh, I hope you'll try it out. You'll be surprised how quick and simple this one is. And then the Blooming Artist, I have your have a video where I take you along and I do my December file folder journal and uh, talk about some ideas and um, my 2022 um, what I'm thinking of doing. So hope you're all having a good week in between New Year's and Christmas. Uh, it's kind of quiet here. It's really cold today. I don't know why, but we're supposed to get a little bit of a warm up coming and then cold again. So warm, cold, warm, cold, but don't have a whole lot of snow here right now. Is it all melted? <laughs> You're 
funny, Janet. So we're going to do these little guys in hmm, probably gray. Maybe I might mix them up. Maybe there'll be di three different types of mice. I don't know. Maybe one with gray fur, one with kind of sienna. And they're going to be fairly quick. I'm just doing them in my um, sketchbook here. And then if I get done um, soon enough for me to test out some uh, mixed media paper. Because I did see a few artists talking about that. And now I only have maybe two types of mixed media paper, like brands. So we'll see what we can do. They're saying that the um, mixed media paper, I think it was Derwent, um, was just as good as hot pressed arch paper. So I thought that was very interesting. And they were suggesting to use that for your practice instead of the real stuff. So, you can uh, check out the links down below if you want the traceable for this. It's on the first level, Artistic Seedlings, and you get all of the past printables to download as many times as you want. So let's do this little guy, or these three little guys. So I'm going to clean my palette, uh, or actually maybe I'll just use it they're kind of a muddy looking color sometimes so let's just there's a bit of green and there's a little bit of odd colors here let's mix some of the green and the brown together get a kind of a grayish shade so why not use what you already have instead of wasting it and I'm just going to put a real thin coat on first. I think I'm going to give this guy a little white tummy. So let's, I'm going to do this one first. And I'm just going to, because it's wet, um, fairly wet, watery paint, not a whole lot of uh, pigment in there. And this is just a sketchbook paper. So. I can't uh, apply too much wet into wet because it'll just end up falling off or not falling off but per, um, the paper starts to pill and then it gets all lumpy looking. So I'm just dabbing basically. I'm going to do a little pink inside the ears might darken a little bit more um, this is going to be a quick one I think what we're going to do is scarves hmm. colorful I think Stream connection is doing good, so that's good. So there's the one guy, and I think I'll do his little belly after this dries up. And this guy, I think I'm going to do him more on the reds colors. Mm, sienna, maybe. And we're just going to do his ears. So did you all have a nice Christmas? Was it low key? Or were you busy, busy? It was fairly low keyed here. I had the boys and the grandkids over for 
just a little bit of finger food. We didn't have a big dinner because I knew they were all going to be going to their in-laws and their dads, so they were going to be all turkeyed out. So it turned out pretty good. I think I'll do his little muzzle white or gray like that. And I think I'm going to do his fingers and his legs kind of pink. Hey Kathleen, good to see you. And this guy, I'm going to do him a little bit darker maybe. Mm, let's see. Umber. Maybe a little bit of red in there. Get it on the gray side. And we'll give him a little white muzzle. The scarves are going to be the most colorful part of this. I'm just going around his eye. that and his little legs here. He's kind of crouched down behind the other one. So maybe he's a little bashful about singing for his cheese. Put a little bit fairly dark back here just so that it's different than the others. A little darker around the neck, dark. Real quiet, but good, yeah. And I think a lot of people had a quiet, fairly quiet um, Christmas. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just maybe put a little bit of gray. Uh, a little bit of gray in here. Little muzzle. I think I'm gonna keep that white though. His little nose. And this guy, maybe white or gray. But just very slight. There. Why don't we take you guys in a little bit more? there so you can see what I'm doing okay and his little nose I think I'm gonna have uh, kind of a grayish pink not a real bright pink uh, let's see this is Quinn red and I'm just gonna put a little bit of gray in there just to dull it down a little bit 
and we'll do his little nose in that. Let's see how it works. Yeah. I'm going to do their feet in hmm, maybe a sienna, well, maybe some of that Quinn Red with a little bit of that dirty color. I want it more on the uh, orangey side, though. Kind of give it a little bit of a... skin tone and I'm going to do their little toes and up his leg he doesn't have fur on his leg and I got funny toes on these guys too. Like I said, the printable is ready for all members so you can print them off. I'll do this guy too. You can take it up into the fur a little bit too. Just let it seep in there. And his hand can be that color. Mm, this guy. I might put in some line work with this one too. Some pen work. Jilly. A little bit on his fingers here. So a lot of people had quiet Christmas. And I'm going to do the inside of his ears. color. <laughs> and then just Put a little bit more of a concentrate in closest part of his, where his head is, where his ear starts, and let it pool out a little bit. I'll just give it a little, like it's, uh, give it, it gives it kind of a 3D look then when you do that. Just, it would be a little more concentrated color for depth. Like that. A little bit more down here. Maybe on the bottom parts or on the ends of his toes, maybe their toes are cold. Let's play with it. One more there. I 
had to cut back or people from Christmas do oh yeah yeah most a lot of people were doing that oh I have missed his tail can always come back put some more in like I said I'm using um, this scrap of paper here let's try it Shelly, good to see you all. You must have heard uh, Mary's having a streamathon this year. A lot of us are that stream are on it. Um, I know Janet is. I am. Dee Dee. You can check her link. Um, someone can find that link and post it. I'm on at 6:30 p.m. on New Year's Eve. 830. Okay. Okay, so I have to watch what I use because I don't want to ink to go through this. So you have to kind of test your pens to see what works best. Uh, so I'm going to just, I have a paper in the back here. I'm almost done my book. It, let's see if it goes through. This is a micron. Nope, it's pretty good. And then the perma. Sometimes uh, they do seep a little bit. Yeah, see the perma seems to go through just slightly, but the micron is a little better. This one is... Five. Let's see if I can find a three. I'll have to find it later, I guess. Don't know where I put it. So I'm just going to go, let's test this just to make sure again. Now this is a three. 
So I don't want it going through. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I'm just going to outline some of this. Not all of it, but some of it. Uh, oh, hi, Kathy. Uh, there's a printable for this, Kathy. And the uh, member stream is up. This is one of them that we did. So you can look on the um, posts. So I'm going to do the tail under the belly a little bit. Make sure it's not going through. Oh, I don't see it. Yeah, you got uh, onion skin? Awesome. Yeah, that stuff's hard to find. For sure. I'm not going to do like a, a contour drawing at all. Um, I like just to kind of emphasize more or less the shadowed areas. When I put line work in. Now his toes. I might want to emphasize them. He's got <laughs> funny looking toes. This guy. I'm just going to put some lines in for fur <laughs> along the edge of his foot or ankles. The mouse belly looks like mine right now. <laughs> yeah, everybody ate too much. Comfort food, right? We all deserved it. All needed that comfort food. I'm going to put some hairs in his ears too. In. Around the bottom of his ear. How's it going? Nope, not going through. That's good. And then this little guy that's kind of hiding. <laughs> You'll whine. <laughs> uh. Just 
just going to put a little bit of hair along the edge here where he's laying down. nails in. Little rings on his tail. Put those in. Maybe a little bit of fur in his ear. You just have to be careful not to put too much on there because I don't want it going through. Uh, let's see. His fingers on the sign. his eyes. I'm going to put his eyes, well, try not to put too much black in there. I'm going to do it mostly on a gray, but there will be black in the top part. Let's see, hopefully it's not going through. Nope. My little beady eyes. And then I'll just put a little bit of gray plus a white dot on them. Far so good. Mm. A little bit of hair in his arm here. Find it later. Get an old one that's not working. Put over top until I can find it. <laughs> not always the way you lose. If this will work. Is that one any good? Yes, it is. I think I threw out all my. Let's see if a pen lid will work. Not gonna work. 
work either. Oh, for Pete's sakes. I lost the, oh, there it is. Yay. Lost the lid on a patterned rug. <laughs> All right, uh, the mouse. Oh, I think we did that. Okay, let's do the mouse belly. Hmm. Kind of grayish, a little bit of white on it. So I'm just gonna wet the area a bit. We'll just use this palette color. And just put it on around the edge. Just dab. Okay, Jilly. Now, what can we, what color should we do the sweaters? Something bright, I think. Maybe plaid. We could also use, let's use our, um, these. I always forget about using these, so why not? Let's see, green, maybe a pink, stripes, we could have, let's see, go with the folds so it's curved looking. Uh, it's blur. Oh well, it is what it is. That belly's still wet and it's seeping into the belly, but I'm gonna leave it. And uh, these brush pens have such a beautiful um, tip on them. And then just do a, a line up. Very, very lightly. Purple and orange.
They didn't soak through. Oof. That's good. That. And what other color? Yellow, maybe? That's yeah, not bright enough. Um, red and maybe green, a darker green. Christmassy. And I'll dry it and then I'm just gonna put a, a little wash over top. I'm gonna go right over top, I think, and then just put a white dot on. Gray. And. Where's my paintbrush? There it is. I'm gonna put a, um, a light green wash for the background of this here. Go right over top of it. That. And we could do a blue for this guy. Light blue. or red, maybe pink or red. Let's do red. Like that. 
Now the sign can be done, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, parchment or that type of thing. So kind of a sienna color, I guess you could say. We could go kind of gray too, but these guys are all gray to begin with. So I'm just going to do this in the parchment color. I'm just going to go right over top. And then we can put in the letters with pen or marker, colored pencil. It's kind of rolled on the ends. And then on the bottom, I'm going to use some of this grayish color again. And I'm just going to go in here, just put some of this as a shadow underneath. Now we can put snow on there later if you wanted to. Just to give it a little bit so they're not floating. You don't want them floating. And let's give that another dry. Now we can take either a Posca or gouache, whatever you have. Um, let's see, I think I will use, oh, there it is, Posca, and put some highlights in the eye. Here, so, so five. and I'm just gonna write in with this. sing for cheese <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow actually I could probably just use this in here a little bit like that
now we can play with a little bit more line work. And then some of the folds in the um, scarf can be put into a little I'm going to put some, um, tufts of hair on there. Little mangy guys. And then his whiskers, of course, have to go in. And they have really long ones. Whiskers, I find, make up <laughs> the character. They put a little dot on the muzzle. A lot of times you see that on their muzzle where the in most animals see these little dots where the um, hairs, whiskers come out. Just emphasizing his eyes a little bit. Here, my little meese, mice, meese, <laughs> meeses. Maybe I should have a belly button. Let's see, he's on an angle about right here. <laughs> He's cute. And it didn't go through the other side. Awesome. All right. And 
And what else can we do? Oh, nostrils need to be emphasized, I think. In his mouth. Hey, Dot. Yeah, they're cute. I like them. I think they're cute. <laughs> would you give them cheese? I think I would. I think they're cute. I like it. So there's our little end of the year today is the 28th 21 almost finished the year well there's our little mice I think they turn out cute. You'd give them cheese, Dot? <laughs> I think they deserve cheese. Alright. So, what I was thinking of just uh, to try I got, let's see, do I have a piece that I've already kind of played with? Now we'll play with this. So I've heard from numerous um, mixed media people, also watercolor artists, that uh, mixed media paper will act just as good as um, hot pressed arches watercolor. Now, I don't think I have arches hot pressed, but I th just thought I would see what it does on um, this versus some watercolor. Hold on. I do have some Fabriano here we can play with too. Now this is hot press, so it's going to be totally different, but just to give it a try and see what they're talking about. So hot press naturally sits on top. I think I might have hot press. Wait, just hold on a minute.
add some fluid uh, hot press so that will work. Now, hot pressed is smooth. Now this has got a little more texture than this here. So I thought we could try, let's try some wet into wet. So I'm just going to put a puddle here. And That is the Fabriant or um, fluid hot press. So you saw how the red traveled on that. Now let's do the same on the mixed media. This is mixed media paper. So water, same red. And it travels just as nice. Hey, Devin! As the hot pressed. Can't tell the difference. Okay, so what if we put... Let's do... Um, we'll try this one first. wet into dry. We'll use the same color, I guess. Um, so if I take this So it goes on fairly even. That's the mixed media paper. So let's do the same with hot pressed. Make sure I got enough paint. Okay. That is hot press, but you can see the, the uh, divisions of the uh, layers going down versus that you can't see. Let's try this one again, just in case I added more pigment. This is the mixed media, and it goes on a lot smoother than your hot pressed. That's interesting. Um, the granulation is more on... I'm going to take you guys out a little bit. Granulation shows up more on the hot on the um, mixed media paper. Soaks in a little faster. This one's still sitting on top. This is the hot press paper. So that is interesting. Thanks, Devin. Um, Let's see if we can remove, okay, on this here, if I try to remove some, this is the same paint, okay, we can remove some, so let's try and remove this one here, 
Okay, we can, it's a little more easier to remove. Mind you, I just did this one. That one sat for a bit. But this tends to sit on the surface longer, so you're going to have an easier way of taking it off. So easier if you're one to remove colors. Let's try that again though. Let's put... I really like the uh, how even it goes on though. That's nice. So you can remove, but not as easily easily as the hot press. Now can I take the hard lines off? Let's see. the same. Well, they, this you can remove a little bit more. Let's see if I can take water. I, I do, this is nice, it's smoother looking than this here, but I think um, if you're practicing, now there's probably a difference in the mixed media paper too. This is Canson. Um, if you were to use the other one, Hanson Strathmore. There's probably a difference in the um, finish. I believe the ones I saw, they were using Derwent mixed media paper and they didn't have any problem with removing paint. This is cold press here. Be interesting to see. I might order some Derwent mixed media and see what the difference is, but definitely um, smoother finish on this paper, which is Canson. Uh, do I have any Strathmore? Let me see. More somewhere. It's media paper. Hmm. I think I must have left it upstairs. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? So much stuff around. No, that's not it. Nope. Must be upstairs. So, I'm thinking... Instead of when you're practicing techniques or 
just plain, why not use your mixed media paper instead of your uh, very expensive watercolor paper when you're just playing and practicing? I think that probably would be the way to go. Um, depending on your style that you're doing, like if you want to remove color, um, this particular mixed media, uh, it's a little bit harder, but I know there are different ones, and I'm going to see how many um, mixed media type papers I have and do a little more experimenting on it. You're gonna. Oh, did you get a bunch of um, paint? Hey, Brenda. I wish I could find that other book. Oh, I'll show you too. I did get a couple books. Um, not, not what you're thinking, but, um, books for drawing in, uh, where'd the other one go? This one. And for me, when I like to draw in a book, I want my book to lie flat. So I did find these. It's a craft hardcover, five and a half by eight and a quarter. And there's 224 pages and it's 100 GSM. And uh, they are, they have a um, exposed And then this can go over top. But these lie flat. And this is a cream color. But I like the fact that it lies flat. doesn't matter where you go. It's going to lie flat. And it looks like this is um, not bad paper. It's not totally smooth. But I think it will work well. So let's try a back page to see what goes through it. That's really good. Let's try this one. This one is a little bit juicier. A lot of times I find this um, perma marker goes through. I don't know why. Must have something to do with it. what it, yeah, it's a little bit. It's about the same as my other book. Um, let's try paint. Let's see what it does. Buckles. Hmm. How much paint can I put on this without it peeling or pilling? Does it go through? Doesn't go through. Okay, let's add glue to it. See what we get. Hmm. Might be better than your the other book I had. And it's very little. Look at that. The page is very straight. It's not even buckling. And I could put multiple layers on. Well. And it bleeds. Oh, it bleeds, guys. This is a game changer. Look at that. I can't do that with my other sketchbook.
great for watercolor. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. There's the uh, name of it. And I did get another one too. Um, similar, but was different company, different paper. Where did they put that? Just hold on. Oh, there it is. Same size. This one also lies flat. It's a hard back cover though. These were actually cheaper um, and they came in packs of four. Two, 240 pages in these also. These were a lot cheaper. So let's see what the paper is like on this stuff. Okay, the end page isn't lie flat, but let's see. Oh, it bleeds. Look at that. It bleeds. How many layers can we put on? Take it and yeah, see, I can even take water and uh, along the edge. Let's see, and I can move it. Oh, yes, this is a good one, too. And does it bleed? It doesn't seem to pill, so this is a good one, too. And let's see what it looks like on the other. Doesn't go through. Awesome. So this is just as good too. Let's see what the marker does. I'm going to scribble in one spot. See if I can get it to go through. This one doesn't even go through at all, so it's even a little better than that other one. See? It doesn't go through. Ho oh, ho! I'm glad I got this one too. Kathy, I was going to put a link in, but I wasn't sure the tone journals these are. Um, Craft hardcover. There's a these ones. There's nothing on them. I'll have to find it my Amazon and I'll put it down below but there was you get them by fours with this one the other one was um, single and this one was really cheap too um, I, I can't remember exactly how much it, there was in it but yeah I think uh, I think the price of this of four of these was a little more than the price of one of these. I didn't think the paper was going to be as good, but it is. So I will I'll put that in the uh, links down below when I finish. But yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and I think you can get them in, in larger sizes too. All right, 
So, uh, I will be streaming Thursday and we'll be doing, I don't know, uh, probably another um, mixed media page or what would you guys want to see? And that's what we did on the member stream this month and the video is up for um, budding artists and blooming artists and then there's also a blooming artist video for you about my December file folder um, month and how I put it together and um, ideas for 2022. All right, so that's, I think that's about it, unless you guys want anything, want to know anything, or I love everything, so do something. Yeah, thanks, Janet. I'm almost done this, guys, look. And then I can do a flip through three more pages. And then um, New Year's Eve, I'll be on at 6.30 to 8.30. I won't be here Thursday in my birthday party. Well, isn't that nice, Dot? Well, yeah, I wouldn't want you to be here if you're going to have a party. <laughs> that was nice of your niece. Awesome. Well, happy birthday. Have a great day, Dot, and we'll probably see you on New Year's Eve. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming, guys, and enjoy your week. And we'll see you Thursday, if not then, then Friday, hopefully, or next Tuesday. So if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments below, and then uh, we'll see you later. You have a fantastic creative day, and uh, bye for now.